Recently, I released a video about AccuRig, which is a free auto-rigging application from ActaCore. And I suggested that AccuRig may actually be better than Mixamo. And many people disagreed with me in the comments saying, uh, no, no, Mixamo is still better. And I think their main argument is that Mixamo has a lot of free animations. ActaCore also has animation assets. Uh, they are actually very easy to use, but most of them are paid. So that's a good point. But what if you could use Mixamo animations or really any motion capture data and apply them on a character rigged with AccuRig? Well, you can do that. And I'm going to show you two ways to do it. One is using AutoRig Pro and QuickRig, which are paid Blender add-ons. And the other workflow will be completely free using the Character Creator Blender tools and Rococo for retargeting. In this first video, I'm going to show the AutoRig Pro workflow. Um, I'm making this video first because the process with AutoRig Pro is a little bit more streamlined. You'll see that for the most part, I'll just be using a couple of presets and everything just falls into place. The free workflow with CC tools and Rococo is not as smooth, but I'm working on some presets that I'm going to share with you. And that's why it's taking a little bit longer, but in a couple of days, uh, I'm going to release that video as well and share all of the resources with you. Okay, that was a longish intro, uh, so let's get going. So for this workflow, you're going to need the following tools. First, you're going to need a copy of AutoRig Pro, and also you're going to need QuickRig. And it's important to understand that QuickRig is an extension of AutoRig Pro, as it says at the very top of the product description. That means that QuickRig does not work by itself. It needs AutoRig Pro to be installed as well. Another tool um, that is optional is the CC Blender tools. I'm going to share the link to this uh, GitHub page, and then you have to go to the latest release and download this uh, source code file. And the final resource that I'm using in this video is this 3D model from Sketchfab by this artist here. The model is a CC attribution um, license, so you can download it freely as long as you credit the creator. I'll share all links with you. Um, and here is my model uh, inside Blender. And I'm also going to share a link to this edited uh, Blend file, because when you import Sketchfab files directly into Blender, they tend to be a little bit messed up. So you can get my cleanup file if you prefer. Okay, um, so I have AutoRig Pro and QuickRig already installed. I'm just going to activate them. And I also have the CC tools and I'm going to activate that as well. And just in case you don't know how to install add-ons, um, you just click install and you'll find the add-ons that you downloaded. 99% of the time, they're a zip file. So for example, here is uh, the CC Blender tools that I have. And if I wanted to install this, I would highlight it and click install add-on. And after you install it, don't forget to place a check mark next to the add-on. Cool. Okay, next I want to rig this female model with AccuRig. So first I need to export it out of Blender. Uh, I'll go to File, Export, FBX. And I'm going to call this um, Girl from Blender. So that I know that this is the export from Blender and just click Export. Then I'm going to start AccuRig. To use AccuRig, you need to be logged in. And I explained all of this in the previous video. So, so please watch that for more detailed explanation about AccuRig itself. I'm going to go through the AccuRig rigging process a little bit faster here. So here I have the FBX file that I just exported. I'm going to drag and drop it into AccuRig and wait for the model to load. Um, center line is fine. I'm going to click on Rig Body and wait for AccuRig to calculate the articulation points of the model. Here they are. This model is symmetrical, so enable symmetry and maybe move this knee marker a bit. And I'll keep aligning the points. Okay, looking good. I'm going to move on to the hand now. Okay, I'm going to do just a tiny bit of tweaking here. Okay. 
and move on to the left hand. And here I'm just going to click on the mirror to left hand button. And because this uh, character is symmetrical, it's going to be almost done. Just a tiny bit of tweaking. And I'm going to try to finalize the character. And here is our character. I think usually Acuric does a almost perfect job. Um, one area that often needs some tweaking are the shoulders. So if your shoulders are looking weird, you can go back to the body rig here and tweak the clavicle and shoulder points. But here I'm happy with the results. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and export the model as FBX target application blender and just click export and here I'm going to name this girl from Acuric okay now I can go back to blender and here is why I installed the CC blender tools here I have the original unrigged model I'm going to move it out of the way and now I could go to file import FBX and just import my um, girl from Acurig. And this is going to be fine, except that um, the materials are not applied correctly. So, so I have to manually go ahead and reapply the correct material. And if it's a complex model, it may be a little bit time consuming. So I'm going to undo. Okay, this was the state before we imported the model. And now instead of going through the regular FBX, I'm going to go to the CC pipeline um, tab and click import character and here choose um, girl from Acurig and import. So by importing through this button, the add-on understands the imported model a little bit better. And now I can go to um, rigging and animation. And I don't want to create a rigify rig here. We will be working with AutoRig Pro. What I want is this uh, much existing materials. I have no idea why this button is under rigging and animation. I think it should be under material parameters, but anyway, it is what it is. So I'm just going to press this button and it will reapply the original materials for me. Um, so now I can just select and delete this unrigged model because I have the rigged one. Um, if I enable X-ray, I have the rigged one with the correct materials and textures. Cool. So now we have this AccuRig armature, uh, which we can manipulate for sure, but it is a simple FK armature, uh, so not very practical for animation and so on. So here is where uh, AutoRig Pro and QuickRig come into play. Okay, I'll go to object mode, and I'll, all I have to do is, with this rig selected, I'm going to go to this drop-down menu next to import, and choose the character creator AccuRig preset. And by the way, if you don't have the AccuRig uh, entry, that means that you don't have the latest version of QuickRig because it was updated basically today on October 20th, uh, 2022. So go get the latest version. So there is Character Creator, Character Creator Plus and the AccuRig presets. They are very similar. Uh, the main difference between Character Creator and Plus is that Plus will also rig the fingers of the character, which is a very nice and quick way to set things up. And this Acuric preset is almost identical to the Character Creator Plus one. The main difference is that for some reason, uh, Actacore must have changed something in the rig hierarchy or rig naming, and one of the spine bones wasn't matching correctly. And also there is a slight difference in the way twist bones are set up. But the easiest way to set up a quick rig for AccuRig is to just select this preset, click OK, and then just click quick rig and OK. OK, and that will give you a fully functioning um, AutoRig Pro compliant control rig, just based on the AccuRig armature. And so, for example, here I can move the hips. Legs work just as they should. And twisting of the arm should look good. Yeah, uh, no candy wrapper effect. Everything looks good. And that is thanks to how these uh, twist bones are set up. 
some of the controls are very small. Uh, that is because QuickRig creates these controls based on the size of the bone, which uh, happens to be very small. So it is very easy to fix this. Just go to AutoRig Pro, select the control that you want to edit, click Edit Shape, enable X-Ray if you want to see through the mesh, select all vertices and just S to scale this control and make it as big as you want and click Apply Shape. Then go to the next one, Edit Shape, make it bigger, Apply Shape. Next one, Edit Shape, make it bigger, Apply Shape. Okay, these ones you may want to make smaller actually, Apply Shape. Cool, so this is how you can edit any of the control shapes uh, if you need to. Okay, and now we come to applying the Miximo animations. So I'm going to go to Miximo.com and for the character, I like to choose this ninja model. Some of the other Miximo characters have a different bone structure and different bone names, so that can influence the process. But with the ninja, I know that uh, it will work exactly as I expect. So let's apply a quick animation. Uh, everyone's favorite capoeira, for example. Click on download and download without skin. The model itself is not important at all. And download it. Okay. Now I'm going to go to file, import, FBX. And import the capoeira FBX. Just like that with the default settings. And actually, let's go back to Miximo and apply another animation. This one, for example, and click on download and download with the same settings. And I'm going to import this one as well. Okay, that imported the action that I wanted, so I can uh, delete this armature right away and move this one out of the way. Okay, next we're going to transfer this Miximo animation onto our AutoRig Pro Quick Rig. So I'm going to go to Remap, select my source armature and use the eyedropper and then select the AutoRig Pro armature and use the eyedropper to set it as a target armature. Now I'm going to click on this multiple source name button, enable multiple animation retargeting and then select the Miximo animations. Uh, I could have named them better, but I know that these are the ones that I want. And press OK. Now I'm going to auto scale, build bone list, and then uh, from the mapping preset, I'm going to choose Miximo, FK arms, IK legs. Or you can choose any of the other Miximo presets, depending on what mode you like for the legs and arms. So legs you most likely want in IK, for the arms you may want FK or IK depending on your preferences. So I'm going to go with this one. And now everything is basically set up. All I need to do is retarget. So I'll press the retarget button and press OK. And here we go. Um, I have the dense animation applied already and it's looking good. And if I go to Dope Sheet, Action Editor, Let's rename this to Dance Remapped. Dance Remap. And I'm going to select the other remapped animation. And that will be the Capoeira. And again, it's looking good. Okay, so that was the process of rigging a character with AccuRig Pro, converting the rig to AutoRig Pro using Quick Rig. And finally, retargeting a Miximo animation to it. And by the way, the motion capture data does not need to be Miximo. It can be anything. Um, and Autoric Pro has a bunch of uh, presets for um, Rococo, Unity characters, Unreal characters, and so on. Um, and if there is no preset, then you can set things up manually, which I have a detailed tutorial about. And one quick note. Um, if I go to rest position for my main rig and also rest position 
for the um, for the motion capture data, you'll see that they're both in a T pose, and that made the retargeting work out of the box. Now, if my character had uh, an A pose, for example, so the arms pointing down like this. What I would have to do is select the motion capture armature, go to redefine wrist pose, click OK, and point the arms down like this. And when I'm happy with the pose, I'm going to click apply here. But here, this is not necessary, so I'm going to cancel. So if you retarget your animations and they kind of look like this, the arms clipping into the body like this, uh, this is a clear sign that the rest pose is uh, not matched and you'll need to redefine the rest pose. Okay, I hope this has been useful. I hope you can see how easy it is to apply Mixing animations to a character rigged with Accure Rig. And if you want to learn the Rigify workflow as well, then subscribe and turn on the notification bell because this video will be released very soon. And if you really like what I do here, you may also consider supporting me on Patreon or Gumroad.